I have to ask, are you a medical cannabis patient? I am, I am. Have and if I wasn't, I'd still be smoking. I'm, I take it you've been to a collective? I have. Okay. Lot, once or, once or twice. Well, all over the map. Okay. There's a lot of states now. Yeah. That, you know? Yeah. And there's even places like Montana where they accept your California one. Do you have a particular strain that you uh, gravitate towards in the sativas? Oh, I'm a sativa Whatever. guy. I don't like to. I like. I don't. I like to stay up. Yeah. I, you know, it's really like a fuel for my creativity. I mean, it I may agree. sound cliche, but it. You know. It's true. Uh, it's something that definitely contributes to my my sound. Definitely, and no, I agree. Smoking, I would imagine, is your preferable. Yes, yes. I don't like eating it, but I will every now and then. Oh yeah, carefully, right? <laughs> yeah, I just don't love that. I end up smoking anyway. <laughs> Uh, it's an amazing victory this week, obviously. It's a great time that we're getting together because we can talk about Colorado and Washington. Yes. Uh, you playing, obviously we were talking about We were about just in earlier. Colorado right before. Oh, But it great. didn't seem like it was illegal then, so. Yeah, yeah. Are you planning to do more st shows now in these two Almost states? Oh, strictly. I'm going to do a strictly Colorado tour. That would be cool. <laughs> someone said, I read on Twitter, someone was like, uh, all the Colorado colleges are going to see more college applications than they've ever seen. Yeah, speaking of unfriendly states, Texas. Uh, not everywhere. Not everywhere. Unfriendly as a whole. You definitely we're feel referring. a little sketchy. You're ref referring? We're re yeah, we're <laughs> referring specifically to? to Sierra Blanca, which okay. is the border crossing ah, where yes. Nelly, yes. Fiona, everybody is getting Busted. basically popped. And uh, you think, have you gone through this st stop ever? No, but we drove right by Juarez and we drove right by all the crazy stuff. Crazy you know, and you stuff. definitely, uh -huh. you definitely feel a little sketched in Texas about that. Um, but then I would you go think to a place like Corvus. Austin, yeah. or you go to a place like even like the coast, like Corpus Christi or something like that, and the vibe is real stony and lovely. I think that they're probably at this point when when these tour buses come through Sierra Blanca. Just pop them? They just you know, bring out the dogs. I would never take a tour bus to Mexico. I'd fly. Yeah. Like I am tomorrow. Being that you're, uh, you know, you're uh, independent and you don't have the big label, it's suffocating you. Yes. Uh, you feel it's easier to talk about your use with cannabis? Or no, I mean, you know what? I've had amazing major label experiences as well as some bad ones. So okay. it all depends on, on the timing, um, you know, and the support. And uh, I think, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the, nowadays people don't care about that shit. Like, no, like, no, they don't. You know, okay. smoke whatever you want to smoke. So it hasn't, you don't feel it's hurt your career, or maybe it's, maybe if it's... It definitely has it. made it so that I show up in a town and a bunch of people bring me weed. <laughs> So that's does it, does it make thing. it to you? It we does. Had, we had this, I had a It does. You know what, really like, Swizzy and I became the weed band. You know, I'm I sure can. how it was when Cypress Hill, you know, yeah. and it's like, you just get these deliveries. Yeah. Which makes it easy. Exactly. Well, and, and it brings a lot of the fans, you know. The, yeah. The, the pot people are very uh, uh, loyal to the, to the people that, that will I support think, them. Yeah, I think choices. it's definitely a common... Uh, when you find that common thread, it's like, you know, a lot of different types of people do it, and you may meet an interesting friend. A lot of musicians and, and actors even that partake, but they're held up for whatever reason, not being able to say anything because of their handlers or, you know, their record label or what might, you know, that kind of thing, which is a yeah, little I think frustrating. But like Brianna, she, you know, openly smokes through her, you know, in pictures with her on her Twitter account. And hey, things man. like that, but Go ahead, it's Riri. something that's open and Go ahead, Riri. talked about, you know. Yeah, I think, I, dude. You know what? We're at a time. Like, listen, we're so young, as like, you know, not only as a, a nation, but as humans. So, yeah. like, there's there's huge changes abound, and I think the more people it, in her position mm -hmm. that do it and make it okay, you know, not everyone has to smoke. If you don't want to smoke, don't smoke. Right. But if right. you do, don't feel ashamed about it. Exactly. That's really, I think, the most important thing. A lot yeah. of people have had to suffer through that stigma for so long. And yeah, I definitely don't like, I don't want to be defined by that ever. It's mm -hmm. just one of the things that I enjoy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I enjoy swimming and, and people aren't just like, so you're a swimmer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, no, I swim on the weekends, man. We have a story coming up in this uh, coming issue that relates to a word that we've kind of invented called slackivism. Okay. Which uh, basically is saying people that are, say they're activists. A little lip uh, service? Yeah. 
yeah. say to their activists, oh, da, 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 but you don't see these people at rallies, you don't see them at protests. Yeah. Um, what, what's your take on people who claim to be for a movement, yet they don't move? Oh, I don't like those people. <laughs> yeah. I'm a firm believer in, like, you know, go big or go home. Excellent. Or go home to a big home. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Preferably. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to share with us that maybe that people haven't? No, I would just hope your your readership would go home and roll a big doobie and put aloha on and Absolutely. listen to it that way because that's how I made it and uh, it probably sounds good that way. Oh, definitely. Preferably yeah. on the beach. You, you know can. what? If you're not but on the anywhere. beach, hopefully it takes you to the beach. Yeah. You know, and I definitely go across the country and I see these people who live in like a snowy remote town the reason they're listening to this type of music is because they want to they want an escape and they want to be taken away to that place yeah um so if i can provide that hey man life is good thanks Absolutely. for listening Fuck. 420 all day